everyone, my name is Anya Anti. I'm a Fire conceptual photographer, photo artist and professional retoucher. And welcome to Photoshop in 5. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily animate your photographs and still images and create simple animations in Photoshop. Today, I will walk you through two different ways of animating your photos within 5 minutes. First, using stock video footage and second, using timeline and keyframes. So here's the first photograph that I'd like to animate. I want to create some movement by adding nice falling snow and snowflakes. Here I have a stock video footage of the realistic falling snow. I changed the size and resolution of the image to match the dimensions of the video file. Let's open this video file in Photoshop. As I open my video file, Photoshop automatically opened the timeline window. You can also find it by going to Window, Timeline. Select Move tool, grab the video group and drag it and drop it onto my image and then reposition it. Photoshop automatically created a new layer within a group out of my video file. And now I do pretty much the same thing as I would do to any texture layer, change its blending mode. And for the white snow on the black background, I need to put it into the screen mode. So I click on the layer, go to blending modes and set it to screen. And now I need to make my video animation. So in the timeline panel, I click on the create video timeline. I can make my video shorter or longer by trimming the clip end. And now I can hit the play button to see what I've done. And my animation is ready. For my next image, I'd like to make the moon apple flicker and glow. To animate this, I won't be using any stock video footage. I'm going to create a curve adjustment layer. So I go to adjustments right here and create a curve adjustment. And here I'm going to pull the RGB master curve up to lighten and hit Ctrl or Command i to invert the mask. And then I take a white soft brush, 100% opacity, and just tap here on the moon. And now in the timeline panel, I click on the Create Video Timeline. Photoshop created a video clip out of my curves layer. At the bottom of the timeline panel, I zoom out my clip and trim its end to extend it. I'm going to create motion by changing the opacity of the curves layer at different points of the clip. If I go to my Curves layer in the Timeline panel and click on the drop-down icon to expand it right here, we will see a bunch of options like Position, Opacity, Style, etc. And we can set up what's called keyframes. A keyframe is like a marker. And to make my moon twinkle, I will work with Opacity and I need to set up keyframes for it to go from 0 to 100% and vice versa. Photoshop is going to automatically create a transition from 0 to 100. So all I have to do is set a bunch of keyframes going from 0 to 100 and back and forth. So let's set the marker for opacity by clicking this little stopwatch icon next to it. Enable keyframe animation. Then I go to layer panel and change the opacity of the curves layer to 0%. This way I've set my first keyframe. Then I move the playhead a bit forward and change the curves layer opacity to 100%. Photoshop automatically sets another keyframe for us. You can see another little yellow icon on the timeline. Then I move the playhead again on approximately the same distance and change curves layer opacity to 0% and set my next keyframe. Now if I change my work area by moving the slider to my playhead and in the settings I enable loop playback and then I hit play and see my animation my light is not twinkling. There are two ways of exporting this animation. You can either export it as a GIF or render it as a video. To create a GIF animation, go to File, Export, Save for Web. Here in the Save for Web window, we need to choose GIF format, GIF 128 dither preset, 256 colors, and click Save. Now let's create a video. Right now it's approximately one second, but let's extend it. So I zoom out a bit, grab the end of the clip and pull it right to extend it up to five seconds. Then I take the slider and extend the work area all the way to the end of the clip. And now I'm going to add more keyframes to create a repeating motion. I'm going to trim the end of the clip to my last keyframe. Now to export the video, go to File, Export, Render Video. Here in the settings, format H264, high quality preset, and 30 frames per second. Let's take a look at what we've exported. Here is my GIF animation, and here's the video. 
So that's how I usually animate my photos and create cinemagraphs in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the Photoshop YouTube channel for more tutorials like this one.